Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's um, always a pleasure to be with my friend and colleague, uh, Dmitry Kleba. It's uh, especially a pleasure to see him now, uh, to see him in person, uh, especially under the circumstances. Um, I just have to say, as we were saying in the NATO meeting that we just came from, uh, Dimitro, your uh, personal courage um, is emblematic of that of the Ukrainian people. Uh, we have great admiration for you, uh, for all of our Ukrainian friends in this incredibly uh, difficult time. Um, but I think what you heard today from all of our allies and, and, and partners from uh, the Asia Pacific region as well was a tremendous sense of solidarity in support of Ukraine against Russia's outrageous aggression uh, and doing everything that we can to continue not only to sustain our support for Ukraine but to build on it, not only to continue uh, the pressure that we're exerting against Russia but uh, to build on it uh, and uh, to um, see to it that uh, Ukraine's sovereignty and independence is fully asserted uh, and protected uh, in advance. So, there's a lot uh, of work that goes into that, but this was a very, very good opportunity to hear directly from you uh, about uh, your assessment of the situation on the ground and then the work that we're doing together between the United States and, and Ukraine, but also among so many different countries uh, that support Ukraine in this, uh, in this difficult moment. So good to see you, my friend. Likewise. Uh, we speak regularly, we meet regularly, and I'm uh, I appreciate that uh, you and I can talk on literally any, any given moment when the need arises. This is uh, how relationships between two real friends and strategic partners should uh, evolve. Uh, Ukraine is grateful to the United States for ironclad diplomatic and military support and for the leadership in, uh, of the United States in initiating, imposing and enforcing sanctions against Russia. Uh, I have uh, told you once that the recipe of Ukrainian victory in this war is the Ukrainian stamina plus uh, Western weapons and sanctions against Russia. And uh, uh, I'm satisfied with the dynamics of, of, of our cooperation on, uh, on weapons and on, on sanctions as well. But when it comes to sanctions, to weapons, and this is the point that I made today to all uh, allies, uh, we have no doubts that in the end Ukraine will get everything that it needs and we will overcome all the uh, reluctance and hesitation coming from some allies when it comes to specific weapons. But the issue of timeline is crucial. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to our conversation today to discuss the timeline of uh, supplies uh, of the weapons which are needed uh, to uh, defend Ukraine. I would also like to uh, thank you for uh, reaching out to third countries who uh, have uh, who haven't taken their firm stance on the Russian aggression against Ukraine, and for explaining to them uh, not only what happened, what is happening, but also the global repercussions of uh, the Russian aggression against my country. It's important to mobilize the entire world uh, that stands for democracy and respect of the rule-based order. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everyone.